What's up guys, Sahaman back and today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys Spawn the Redeemer. This is one that I've been super excited about. Now I got him and I also got the Raven Spawn and I've already done a review on Violator, I've already done a review on the Clown and I'm just waiting for Gunslinger. Now Gunslinger, I had pre-ordered the when it first went on pre-order on Target and it's back ordered now. They keep on pushing it back. I was supposed to have it already in hand, I think like a few weeks ago, but it's probably back order because they're selling them out in, st in stores first, but hopefully I'll get that guy soon, but it still is on pre-order, but we have the Redeemer right here. Now, he is the second version I have. I have the original McFarlane Redeemer that came out a few years back. I think it's somewhere in storage, but that one was more like a pre-pose figure. This one's going to be way more articulated. And this Redeemer here is Eddie Frank because there is various Redeemers. So the packaging on this is really nice. I love the colors that they use on here. You got the big open window. On the side, you have some really, really nice artwork of the character here. I love that. And then on the back, here he is. So 22 points of articulation. You can see the spawn logo in the back and he does come with a really huge sword. And then on this side over here, you have another kind of like image here of the Redeemer there. So let's go ahead and open them up. We're gonna see how detailed this is. I'm really anxious to see how the wings look. And then we're gonna see if this guy is a pickup or a pass. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the accessories. You do get your standard spawn base. It's a circular black base with the spawn logo or the spawn, uh, logo yeah the logo of the writing there and then the peg and then you also get this really cool sword here now it is soft rubber luckily it's not warped it's pretty much all gold but look at the cool sculpting on there very cool and even on the blade itself it has some really cool little detailing and there's the end of it there so you do get the sword and then you also get a uh the wings so this is nicely detailed this is what i wanted to see you know what ah uh, the toy smell on this is nice. So you have the the wings here. And again, when you see them in person, like the feathers is very, very cool. I love the bottom too, how they look. And it looks like this is just going to peg in. Oh, look at the detail on the inside of the wings. So there is the wings that you get here. So we'll attach that on the figure here in a second. Um, but let's go ahead and bring out Redeemer and look at him, guys. I mean, look how great he looks. The paint apps on him is very nice. I love the blue with the gold. I think it just looks, it, it, it really like pops. So the helmet looks awesome. You have like this cross right here in the front and then you have spikes over the head sculpt which almost make it look like a mohawk now. Let me see, are these like soft rubber? Uh, not too much, they're a little sharp though. And you have these like shoulder pads right here which is a soft rubber material. It looks like you can kind of move them there. They got some detailing on the inside and then some sculpting right here on the outer part. And then you have spikes on the shoulder pads. Now this is a little bit more of a soft rubber material on the spikes. And you have the front part of the armor, the upper armor. So you can see the cool designs right there on the, the chest piece. And then right over here, this is soft rubber. Then you have the blue, like the blue suit underneath has like a texture to it. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. And then you have some like sculpting right there on the side of the arms and the sleeves. And it also goes down to the pants here um, right here on the back so you can see more of the sculpting on there that's really nice in the blue in the suit and you have the peg holes where we're going to peg the the wings there in a second you got a gold butt right over here and then you have this like little leg strap here that has like a bunch of like little pouches and then on this side over here he has like a full-on gold leg that's like armored so the down uh, the, the detailing on this guy is awesome and i love how he just has one full gold armored leg and the other one's not. And then you got the gold boots. It almost looks like, I don't know if it's the lighting, but it almost looks like the boots and the, the gold pieces up here are like a little bit of a different color. And then as far as the arms go, he got these, he has these like gauntlets here. This is soft rubber and then spikes right there on the hands. This is a little bit sharp. So just be careful with that. So he got the same thing on that arm too. I love the head sculpt on him though. I'm really digging the mask and the mohawk look. It's really like punk rock. That looks so cool. I love that. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the bottom of the legs. There's the bottom here. You have the peg holes. So let's go ahead and attach the wings on him. I'm going to see how, how easy this is going to be. So we're going to peg this in. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be too hard to, oh great. It looks like it might be, we might have to apply some, some force here, guys. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it is articulated. You can see that. And then let's go ahead and attach this side here. 
Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, God, this looks great. Oh, I forgot to mention this piece right here. That little green cross-looking thing right here. That looks pretty cool. The, the outfit on him is awesome. I think this is just a really, really, really good-looking figure. Um, but the wings on him, too. He, this is a figure that definitely needed, like, a flight stand with him just to give get him like in some kind of a flight pose and that's what he looks like in the back right there with the wings but they are articulated a little bit so you can kind of get them to go you know up and down they can let's see if they can get him to go back yeah you can get him to go back too so if you have like a flight stand you can definitely get him in some really really cool poses and then let's go ahead and have him hold on to his sword and let's see how well he holds on to that it is a little bit oversized but it's fine. It's perfect. Oh man, this guy just looks so cool. Let's uh, let's do some size comparison with some other McFarland figures. Okay, guys. So right here, I have them next to the new McFarland Violator, and then a seven-inch DC Multiverse Justice League Batman. So he is taller than the Batman, and obviously the Violator is a lot larger than him. There you go, guys. There's my quick little review today. We're taking a look at the brand new McFarland toys redeemer the redeemer this is definitely a pickup guys i if you're a spawn fan you're gonna want this in your collection uh, the articulations there the paint apps are great the detail is fantastic the wings on him is just freaking sick the only thing i wish this guy would have had was a flight stand to get him in like to a, in like in a flying pose and um I, like i say with all of the mcfarland figures i just wish the feet we're sculpted a little bit better or, or some kind of... They, they need something because I definitely have, uh, like I said, problems with a lot of my McFarlane figures getting them to stand. But I like this figure. I can't wait to get the Raven Spawn. Raven Spawn, um, he should be coming in the, in the mail tomorrow. And then eventually I will get the Gunslinger Spawn next. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think about this, this figure. If it's a pickup, is it a pass? If you own any of the Redeemer Spawns, let me know in the comments down below. Thumbs up the video, guys. Thank you for the support. We will see you soon for more reviews. Later.